months spent in space amid stars and constellations orbiting the Earth in zero gravity. Being a cosmonaut or an astronaut is no easy task. But after their mission is complete and they return to Earth, the mission for other men and women begins. Obviously, there is no telling exactly where cosmonauts will land. So, in order to be prepared for anything that could possibly go wrong, Russian Aviation and Russian Space Agency regularly hold exercises just a month before a scheduled landing, so they could be prepared for anything. In fact, the rescue operation kicks off even before the capsule with cosmonauts lands. It's one of the most exciting moments, hearing in your headphones that they got us on their radar. They're watching us and following us. That's awesome. That means that all the survival practices that we had won't be needed. But though this is how it usually happens, the search and rescue teams on land know that it's better to be safe than sorry. Such trainings are conducted regularly, right before every landing. The objective is to test the condition of the equipment and vehicles, of the preparedness of the personnel. Our team has an extensive experience in this field, and we are ready to work in any condition. The process involves several teams of specially trained Air Force personnel, from parachutists to medical staff. Finding the landing capsule, opening it up, letting the cosmonauts out into the open, back on terra firma. Of course, during the training, one of the rescuers acts as a stand-in for the cosmonauts. The whole process normally takes 25 to 30 minutes. But in order to achieve such speed, months of training are needed. After all, there are lives at stake. And one of the most important factors, the weather, is also one of the most unpredictable. It's the hardest when helicopters can't fly, and only the ground echelon can get to the cosmonauts, evacuate them, and get them to the nearest airfield. We always have very little time, and we must get them out as soon as possible. Hardly a low-pressure working environment, but the reward is priceless. I'd like to say for all cosmonauts, we greatly respect you, guys, and really love you. And I hope that all knowledge and life-saving skills that you have will never be needed by you or us. Thank you. In Chelyabinsk region, Irina Galushko, RT.